Hey folks, I'm dispersed camped at the Dragoon Mountains. Thanks for watching. Hey folks, it's Mark Dispersed Camping Man and I am currently dispersed camped at the Dragoon Mountains which is uh, part of the Coronado National Forest here in the uh, southern part of Arizona. In order to get here from Interstate 10 I took Highway 80 and then I turned left onto North Middle March Road. That road starts off as uh, asphalt for probably about a quarter of a mile and then that road turns into a uh, gravel road which takes you 10 miles on it. A 10 mile dirt road is pretty decent. When I was coming in here, they were actually grading it, but there is some, uh, probably some washboarding there in certain spots. Uh, like I said, always just take it slow. You should be good on that one. And after uh, middle of March road, you'll be turning left on road uh, 687. Now that road isn't as well maintained, but, uh, it is uh, doable. I have seen all types of classes of RVs coming out here. A, B, C's, uh, travel trailers, fifth wheels. So if you take it, that road slow, 687, you should be fine getting out here. Yeah, folks, this is definitely a uh, nice little dispersed camping spot I found here in the Coronado National Forest. And of course, right behind me right there is the uh, Dragoon uh, Mountains. Pretty cool. Let me have you take a look around. Pretty cool little camp spot, folks. Lots of hiking out through here. The weather's been great. Been about 70s during the day. Probably about, sometimes it gets down to like uh, high 30s at night. And you got the Dragoon Mountain as a backdrop. This is definitely a pretty good spot. It's not too crowded. I got, I think, uh, some campers over there. And then some more campers up here camped at the base of that mountain over there. And of course, folks, I got my uh, picture window facing the Dragoon Mountains. So I'm there eating. I got a good view to look out of. I think I made some uh, tacos, even though it wasn't Tuesday. Tacos were excellent. I've been doing some uh, mountain biking also. Let's look at that view. This is a part of the Dragoon Mountains right here, and uh, I've been hiking all out through here. Really cool spots through here. I don't think you see right there, but I'm gonna take you right up there and uh, get you an overview of the area. Dragoon Mountain, folks. Beautiful area. Yeah, folks, there's the uh, Dragoon Mountains, which is part of the Coronado National Forest. And you can see people dispersed camping out through here. Right there is uh, that road 687 I was telling you about. Right there is where I'm dispersed camped at. And those folks right there got here about two days ago. They are uh, packing up and leaving today, I guess. 
plenty of room out through here. This whole area right here you can just burst camp at. There's a lot of people over there just burst camp up next to the uh, up to the uh, mountains. And all through here you can just burst camp at. Like I said, that's a road 687. Then it leads into Middle March Road. And it takes you out to uh, Highway 80, I believe what it was. And that uh, Middle March Road is uh, 10 miles. If you can see right there, out there is the uh, city of Tombstone. Out there's got the uh, OK Corral. And you know me, I don't, I'm not much of a tourist attraction kind of guy, but I have wanted to uh, check out that OK Corral, which I did. It's a pretty cool, cool little show. Uh, it's 10 bucks. You go on the OK Corral, they give you three tickets. One ticket, they'll give you a. Uh, a uh, 1800s newspaper the second ticket is kind of like a little show to show you the how tombstone got started with silver and everything and the third ticket is to actually go into the OK Corral where they had that uh, gunfight with Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday and the other Cowboys it's a pretty cool little show like I said if you come to this location to this location like tombstone is like 12 miles away from here so i just jumped on my motorcycle went out there and take a look at it it's a pretty cool little spot a lot of uh class b's rolling up in here those vans and this is the uh, apache cochi stronghold mountains back in 1800s you're not familiar with it yeah folks that spot right up there is a pretty good little climb to get up there but it's kind of neat being able to uh, climb up there and get kind of like a bird's eye view where you're at and where you're staying at these uh, dragoon mountains has got a lot of history to them uh, they got the uh, apache indians used to live here there's a, a, a famous one called the uh, cochise he used the Dra dragoon mountains as his stronghold which worked for him good uh, going against the army back in the 1800s like I said earlier I was uh, taking my motorcycle around and I found a spot down there called the uh, council rocks I want to take you guys down there and check that spot out yeah folks I'm gonna be heading over to uh, council rocks show you guys around there then while we're going there I'm gonna show you guys some uh, other camping spots, other options you can camp at around here. So here's where people are camping at because they're uh, climbing that rock right there with their ropes. There's someone climbing it right there. Let me pull over. Yeah, if you want to climb the rock right here, people are camping right here. I don't know if you can see that guy over there. He's got his safety ropes on, all that good stuff. He's climbing that wall right there. That's pretty cool. This is a pretty big place right here. <clears throat> Especially if you want to disperse camp down here in the winter months. <clears throat> you got you some shade. Or the summer months, you got you some shade. Pretty much a circle drop there. Technically, you can disperse camp about anywhere out in here. There's a nice little spot. This is a pretty cool spot right here. This is a bouldering and rock climbing paradise out here. Oh yeah folks, I almost forgot to tell you, this here is a Slave and Gulch trailhead. That is a really nice trailhead. And this is a Saturday right now. It looks like we got some people up here. This is a really popular trailhead right here. Beautiful scenery down there. And I, I think I went probably about three miles in. And then uh, came back. So about a six miles trip in and out. What I did. Scenery down that way is spectacular. I mean you're pretty much walking in a canyon going down through there. You got sh cliffs on the right, cliffs on the left of you. Real beautiful scenery down through there. 
There's the uh, Council of Rocks parking area. Hey folks, the Council of Rocks is uh, right up there. A short little hike. There's uh, plenty of parking right here. And when, if you do show up, you want to go right through here. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go off to the uh, left right here. Yeah, folks, Council of Rocks. That's where uh, Coach Hughes would come and get some of my martyrs. <clears throat> I think, yeah, the last time I saw these was on uh, Robin's Butte. If y'all remember that video. Yeah, here's the uh, other entrance. So here's even cooler. So here's where the Apache Indians would come and uh, hang out. This is part of the uh, Dragoon Mountains. Over here, there's a placard. Land of Legends, Council Rocks. The pictures you see were made hundreds of years ago. They have faded with time and are now very fragile. These red and orange pictographs are reminiscent of designs used by prehistoric Mongolian people roughly 1,000 years ago. Some may have been added in early historic times by Apache visitors. The boulder formation around you has served as a shelter by many who pass through this area. The grinding mortars on the large granite boulder to your left and the two within the shelter area were used with a pestle for grinding nuts and seeds. The Dragoon Mountains were part of the Apache chief Cochise's stronghold where his people could elude pursuing military troops. Council Rocks, the natural amphitheater formation to the south, may have been a meeting place. Some say it was near this spot that Cochise made peace with General Howard in 1872, although the actual location was probably at the northern end of the range near Dragoon Springs. This site is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Please respect this place of the past. Yeah, folks, you're interested in coming up here to see the uh, Council Rocks. It's a pretty easy hike, probably maybe a thousand feet to get to it. Like I said, it's when you come to that trail, just make that left, just follow on around, and it gets you right here to the Council Rocks. Hey folks, it's a uh, late evening, and I'm about to uh, start packing up. I've been here for about seven days, so uh, I get past, start packing up tonight, and uh, I'm gonna be leaving out tomorrow morning to my next destination. Before I uh, leave, let me go ahead and take, let you have another look around. Definitely, folks, you're in the area and you stop by here and uh, check out the uh, Dragoon Mountains there. And this is just a small portion of them. They go way back that way, too. Especially if you're into uh, bouldering or uh, climbing mountains, this is a uh, good spot to check out. Especially if you like to hike. And it's definitely real quiet here. Real peaceful out here. I guess the uh, best part about this trip right here would be probably the uh, Council Rocks. It's pretty neat checking out those uh, historic uh, places around here in Arizona. It's uh, pretty cool. And as always, folks, I'm going to leave the uh, grid corners to uh, my camping spot right here if you're interested in coming out here. And I also uh, leave the uh, grid corners to that uh, Slavin Gulch over there, Trailhead, and the uh, uh, Council Rocks, if you guys want to check that out also. Hey guys, as usual, appreciate you guys for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time.